Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert this picture into this, this, and so many other styles just by using the filters available in the IBS Paint text. So this is going to be easy peasy tutorial. You no need to do so much work. Just by using one click, you can do so much with your artwork whether you want to create a pop-up style pop style or any other styles you can try it here so let's get started first i'm going to import one of the image one of the drawing i guess it's drawn so if you have seen my tutorials you may have uh, saw this too so this is one of the artwork circle scenery i have done as a full tutorial so if you didn't check out it, go and check in my video section, you may find this uh, illustration there. So this is drawn by me and here I just imported this and here I want to have some square, which means a uh, vertical portrait like uh, shape for this. So I just cropped it and I created this. Now I'm going to duplicate this original and uh, I'm going to work with the duplicated uh, one. So now I'm just going to the filter and go to adjust color. Here you may find so many different options. I'm coming from the last. So my favorite one, posterize. So here when you click on, click on the posterize, there will be a drastic change from your basic artwork to something like a uh, pop style something colorful with uh, so much of uh, layers something like that so if you want to create something like this if you want to create your artwork um, in a unique style then you can go for this posterize filter just by one click you can see it, you know it just took uh, one uh, few seconds now i'm going to show you another filter just i just duplicated the original again and move it to the top, move that layer to the top and now I'm going to use the under filter and I'm going to try one by one so here I'm trying invert color then I'm going to use the gradient map for this layer here so in the gradient map you can find so much different gradient combos that they provide by default so just click on that gradients and check which one suits which one you like the most and just by one click you can see how they applied and you can even adjust the gradient uh, um, blendings uh, at the bottom so just my um, moving that diamond shape you can change uh, where your color have to appear so likewise I'm trying some I like this one and also i'm showing some other uh, colors combos but i personally like that pink color one this also good super this looks like monochromatic and you can also try some monochromatic here as well as there is another filter which is especially for monochromatic so i like this one i keep the gradient map in this color combo it looks also different and pop style okay now this is going to be my first second example this is the first one and the second one is totally different from the first so now again i'm going to duplicate the original hiding the uh, original and blowing the duplicate to the top so again here i'm going to use the level adjustments so once I click on this level adjustment you can see just by moving the input levels output levels you can do so much if you increase the output level to maximum it will be entirely white and if you increase decrease the output level to to the left minimum it will be darkest so then if you go to the channel if you have uh, seen you know you can see rbc color uh, separately r b uh, and g so here we can uh, you know personally select each color red uh, green and blue and you can value how much value you want and 
just by dragging each uh, output levels and you can create super mature of these uh, red, uh, green and blue also if you want to try auto you can try here auto they didn't give that much results so i'm just moving back to the channel and selecting rgb values and so i want to create something different here uh, which is totally different from what i have created already so i like this one so that you can find so much variations uh, it's like i'm just uh, giving examples for you so now once again i'm going to duplicate the original and dragging that to the top and now i'm going to choose the replace color so in the replace color you can do this so here are the referent points so just place this uh, referent point wherever you want and move the hue saturation values here we can find fuzziness and range that all uh, for the uh, areas that you are selecting if you reduce the fuzziness which means uh, the uh, points going to have lesser coverage so if you increase the fuzziness and range it's going to have the more coverage of that uh, around that point so that's the thing so just keep the point wherever you want and move the values as you require so here you can see as you change the saturation hue and lightness uh, we can see so much difference that uh, you know created uh, uh, you know applied to our artwork so now again i'm creating another point and placing at the top since the uh, colors that are already present uh, present on the image are so much different at each point so it's going to give some color variations otherwise if the whole image is of same color um, these both points will have the both, you know same color shades so that's the thing so here if you you know if you click the show selection it will show the areas that are selected so this is going to be gradiently um, you know moving points which means at the center of the point it will have the higher effect and as it moves it have the less effect so this is the third or i think fourth one yes this is the fourth filter that i tried now i'm going to duplicate original moving that to the top make it visible then go to filter and here i'm going to try this black and white i'm going no i'm not going to hide them here just for showing you so you can try this grayscale um also there are some other things something related to sketch that i like the most so here if you want to have something monochromatic then you can do for this what monochromatic means so mono color which means you have to select one color from the entire uh, color panel and that will be applied to all the white areas and the remaining darker areas will be in you know the darkest uh, shade of that color so if it is a pink the lighter areas will be of light pink as the as the gradient moves to the dark the darker shade of the pink will be applied darker place so this is the other one now duplicate this one to the top go to the filter and here you can see extract line drawing this is also good and find edges this is you know game changing one also this i love this it is unique like a hand drawing i like this so much but so i have planned to make a video in a colorful a theme so i'm not going to uh, much of the grayscale or sketches kind of artwork I and mean, the filters here so next i'm moving to the first uh, four uh, options which is brightness and contrast so if you uh, reduce the brightness it's going to be dark and if you increase the uh, brightness it's going to be white so in the same way contrast by increasing the contrast you will have the high contrast so next 
I'm going to use the hue saturation and lightness by moving the hue value you'll get all the color ranges red, blue, green, whatever and you can find uh, find your favorite one and place there so here you can see all the color uh, changes uh, in the ranges are available here just by uh, using the saturation you can make it darker, grayscale or in the same way uh, the lightness works then I am going to use the color balance so in the color balance same similar to the tone curve or the hue it works similarly but here you are playing with the colors real colors so if you move towards yellow it's going to be full of yellow if it is a pink it's going to be full of pink or something like that blended with the colors already we have so i kind of like this color balance and turn curve because um, we can have more options here compared to the brightness or contrast so the brightness or contrast just have some bright you uh, know dull effects on the uh, image but this tone curve uh, so this also uh, gives so much variation so i kind of like this but uh, the color doesn't suit well so like this you can try so much different options uh, uh, if you if you are not a good color picker uh, while drawing then this is a blessing for you because though you don't use multiple colors here you can create so much variant of colors and you can create some more beautiful unique pieces uh, of yours so here i'm just playing with the tone curve uh, or gb values so like that you can try all the RGB values and in total or uh, in uh, that have the separate column here so likewise you can drag all these and find your favorite one so i here i used all those four filters at once in one layer so now i'm going to save them one by one so i'm in the top layer saving it as png similarly hiding the other layers and uh, making visible of one layer at a time i'm going to save uh, one by one so you can see how in a minute i created so much different artworks illustration so i don't know whether you know about this before or not but i hope uh, this video helps you a lot to uh, enhance your artwork style uh, you know enhance totally enhance your uh, level of uh, drawing art and also you can find so much different ideas from this to create something new so you can see how they are totally different from one another and uh, you know, I personally love every uh, um, every filter of that and uh, every outcome of uh, that filter so here you can see how the color shades are different so i didn't use much color uh, uh, or you know in a any of my illustration so i personally love this because i am a lover of multiple colors so i love to use multiple colors make some pop art but i have never done that so yeah thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel